We're working together. Let's work together. Do, 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 do. We're going to work together to solve the problem. Hey, good morning. 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show, and I am Greg Master Scrum Master Manager Coach. Thanks for joining us today. This is our 645th episode. Today, I want to talk about working together to solve stuff. And why am I bringing this? It seems like a higher thing, but I have to tell you, it's when you work with others, it's the more rewarding process than working alone. So we're going to talk about some examples I have in the past, how has worked together. And really, this is just to fight off the dreaded dev sprint versus the test sprint. And that's where we're going to talk about why that's bad and why working together is much more productive ever than a dev sprint and a test sprint. So with that, 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I'm Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And here on the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show, we talk about Agile and Scrum in a practical and tactical way. So you can bring value to your customer, not work crazy hours. Get on the family and friends, do some fun stuff in life, have fun at work and not like dread the jobs, right? So, and be more productive that way. Because if you dread the job, you're not going to want to do it and it's going to take longer. People don't get it. You make the, the place miserable and it's going to take longer to get stuff done. Um, okay. So the dreaded, well, why don't we do, why don't we fully utilize, 100% utilize our de developers in development and fully utilize our testers and tests? Yeah, you get that, right? That happens every place I ever been to in my whole entire career. A lot of times from project management type things or management by capability. Did those places ever deliver their work on time? Probably not without working crazy hours to get there, right? I mean, people can tell me, yeah, we delivered on time. I said, well, what did you do to get there? We did what we needed to do to get the, the project delivered on time. Yeah, got that. Um, do that too often. Everybody's going to jump ship. So I want to tell you this right now. The one group. One of the few times, actually, every time I do this right, and I have dev and test working side by side next to each other in the same sprint next to each other, literally next to each other if possible. I know in the virtual world, we won't have that. Um, it'd be more virtual and people just working on the same things, but next to each other in a time perspective, right? I've had quality people tell me, Greg, I loved what we did tell me how many times do you get feedback from people that says they love what they did and what they did is we set up a system where the testers were embedded with the developers and when the developers did something the testers tested it right away and gave back feedback back to the developers and if there was a bug the developers would help work on it and they would work together to figure out why the system wasn't working so it wasn't just I'm going to hit this button them see if your thing works. No, they actually work together and put their minds together to solve a problem. One from a testing perspective, one from a development perspective. Two different thought processes, two different perspectives. People don't understand their different perspectives, but sometimes different perspectives. It's called diversity that they're trying to teach everyone adds to the benefit of the solution. So in that example, it's one time you know, I got it a few times actually, but sometimes it's like we were so more advanced than others. When I had one, 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 one comment from one QA was, "Your we what you had set up, we were so more advanced than any other agile team I've ever been to." And you really don't realize it when you're in it, but then when you go out of it and go work for another company, and like, oh my god, what we did before was so much better. So that was a great compliment. I was like, thank you. And then another time was the guy says. I love this. This was great. It was the best thing. I wish we could do this forever. Um, every time you work people together as a team, they are much happier in developing. So one, they build better solutions. Two, they're much happier. Okay. They love solving problems of the team. Do you, when you're by yourself and you win a solitaire game, is that more enjoyable than when you're with a group of people playing a sport game and you win or you play together, you play your hearts out and you play really well. You bond, right? You do well. That's the thing. These teams want to do a dev and a, and, and a test from a, now from a technical standpoint, let's talk about, 
So from an emotional performance perspective, having Dev and Tess together, it's just 10 times better. You can't argue me that it's any better. I'm going to say you're wrong um, because I've seen it and I've seen the feedback because people don't tell you they love their job. They don't love their job. It just doesn't. I mean, you count how many times people said they love their job. The only time they do is when they work together as a team to solve a problem. I guarantee you. I bet you. Okay. Unless they're totally an introvert and they don't want to talk to anyone ever. <sighs> But that's okay. Everybody's diverse. They bring their different things to the table. Now, why testing and dev should be together? Okay. If you are really good at what you do, unless you suck, right, at coding, in theory, if you have like five, let's say you have, let's say, because the numbers are always wrong, you have five developers, three testers. So you have eight people, a team of eight, okay? Ideally, it would be four and four, but let's say it's five and three. When you have those five people coding and they take all their stuff and drop it on the testers, and then the testers look at it, they find a bug. But maybe it was the next sprint. You're already adding code on top of it. So, what you're basically doing is my fingers. And this is why you don't do it. You get the blue fingers now. Um, and I always use the blue pen. I don't know why. So you basically build a mountain of code. So your first release, this is first release. You got a little bit of code, right? And then this goes over to testing, right? Problem is, come the second release, they can find a bug in your code buried deep in that pile of code. You are now working on the second release as a developer. You have to be able to go back and find out where that error was. Problem is you already context switched into another activity. So you have to deconnect from what you were doing, re-figure out where you, where you were and solve the problem. Here's even better. What if the person here, person A, is not person B, and the second sprint. What if you find a bug there, right? But person A is on vacation. Vacation for a week, for a sprint, for two week vacation. Okay. Person B has to figure out how they coded it and find the bug because they ain't there. So, from a technical perspective, now, that work is definitely not getting de deployed for another two weeks. So what you wrote on here is two weeks. This is two weeks. Then it takes a third sprint, which is another two weeks. So you got six weeks for something that should have been done in the first two weeks. So instead of delivering two weeks, you're now delivering six weeks later. So, you know, you added four weeks to your schedule. You added a whole month to your schedule. So for all those project managers out there who think that's the better way, you are now a month behind schedule to delivering code and the value of the customer. Customer tells you they want something. Um, look at today's society. Everybody wants something now. They want it tomorrow. They want you to deliver it to their house, whatever. You think they're going to be satisfied with waiting a month for some piece, a little piece of code? or something that got fixed that may not have been perfect. And let's say they did make something easy. Somebody else has to figure out where they put it and how they did it and make the change. And that's why you also do code reviews. But, but as a group, you don't know who's available to do the fix. So your time to get the fixes takes longer. Your amount of money to solve the problem just doubled in budget. Okay. Because you only budgeted for two weeks worth of work. Now you got to add another two weeks because you know what happens? They find the they find the bug. They have to retest everything and do it again. So your budget has now doubled. And people are like, no, Greg, it didn't budget. Well, no, it did budget. The time you need to invest to deliver that product to the customer had doubled. That's my simple program management math, right? When you get to be a program manager like I was, your math becomes simpler. And when people try to nitpick it, I go, no, 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 no. 
by the time I get all the costs associated with doing this again and going through the thing, I doubled my cost. And they're like, oh, no, I'm going to turn it. No, no, we doubled the cost. So anyway, just want to share that with you. Anytime you get that. So from a technical perspective, trying to find the bug, the probability of getting lost, somebody not being there when and when you set up that dev sprint and test sprint, you have a lot of places things can go wrong. If you get them in the same sprint, dev and test together, working together as a team, one, they're going to be much happier. Two, more productive. Three, they'll find the stuff quicker and keep your costs down to minimum. I don't know how you're going to argue with me that I'm not right. You argue with me. Anybody out there, argue with me I'm wrong. Argue with me that it's better to have a development sprint and then a test sprint. And then argue with me if anything ever goes wrong, how that's it's cheaper to have the two separate sprints than it is cheaper to have one sprint with both testing and dev in it. Just argue with that part. Anyway. All right. Well, have a great day. Enjoy your day. Give us a thumbs up if you like the show. Ring the bell twice, once, twice, so you get notified when we go live. And you all have a great day. Bye. See ya.